are you valuing the right things? Do you really value the correct things? And the correct things, of course, are your loved ones, your 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 family. And there's moments where you overlook that because you're so caught up into the job, the money, the success. Mm-hmm. And you sometimes make your family secondary to all the moves that you got to make out here. The accident slash pandemic is the longest I've ever sat down in my life. But it's the best time that I've ever had because I got to see what matters the most. And the value that came from that was prioritizing them and their needs in a way that I never have. And I think this is the beauty of getting old, right? The beauty of getting older is, yo, I'm going to step in a lot of shit. I'm going to mess up a lot of shoes. And that's okay. I'm I'm okay with that. I don't I don't live in this world of false reality of perfection. And I think somewhere the lines, I talked about this before, the lines have gotten blurred in today's time. Like, you know, people are searching for that thing. That it don't exist. I'm fine with my fuck ups. Mm-hmm. I'm fine with with every last one of them. Yep. And I love what comes from it because the person that you are and the conversations and stories that I'm able to share with this group of of four. These fucking four people that look at me like, yo, dad, that's dad. Like, I'm able to share some shit, good, bad, ugly, that can hopefully put them in position to do the right thing in life. And even if they don't, they'll be fine because I know that I'm doing my job and owning shit when I do it, learning from shit when I can, educating myself when it's free, being okay with being flawed. Showing that it's okay to get better. All of the things that we struggle with in life, if I can be a product of that and be a better display to them, I take that every day of the week. Mm -hmm. The accident, that was the light bulb of making sure that I'm doing that correctly. Mm -hmm. Because when you want to go, you want to go, you come back and it's movie night, you mistake that as parenting sometimes. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's Tuesday. We eating dinner, everybody at the table. You got two hours and everybody ate. You mistake that as parenting. The pandemic was, you know, you're you're in it. Got real. Uh-huh. The kid was fucking home every day. Uh-huh. Every goddamn day was a conversation. So, you know, I took a I took a lot of good out of it. And, you know, it's unfortunate that it had to come that way. But I, I take those messages from that big man upstairs, however they come. That was a message that I needed to hear. What's good? It's Thomas Rock with TR Mentality, man. Before we get into the video. Make sure y'all own y'all own shit. In this clip, we got Kevin Hart explaining why perfection does not exist. And this some real shit, man. We talk about work-life balance. Make sure y'all go ahead and check out that video after you finish watching this one. Whenever you're doing anything in life, man, rather it's trying to find the perfect balance in your schedule. How do you separate working and family time? It's always going to be something that stops it from being perfect. When you're a music artist, you always going to be growing. You'll never reach pure perfection. Now, you might have songs that's like, yo, I couldn't have done that better. But I'm talking about you as a whole as an artist. There's always things you constantly want to continue to work on. There's always things you want to learn. And there's always things that you want to turn up. Like you want to turn the knobs on your social media content. You want to turn the knobs on your output. There's never pure perfection in anything you do. And I think that's something that a lot of people, they mistake and they start to feel like, yo, I can chase perfection. And it mess them up more than it help. Because when you feel like you're trying to chase perfection, it seems like you're always going to tell yourself you're wrong. No matter what you do, you're going to say, oh, well, damn, I'm wrong because it's supposed to be this way. And although it's okay to be hard on yourself and wanting to grow because like I always speak on man I try to be in the studio as much as possible and that's what's got me to where I am today that's what's helped me to increase my skill set at a pace and the level that I have in just three years so yeah you always got to work hard and you always got to be hard on yourself critique yourself be honest with yourself but I'm telling you stop chasing perfection because it does not exist and like Kevin Hart said man he's discovering the beauty and getting older because there's just some things you're not going to know when you're 20 there's certain things that you're not going to feel a certain way about while you're 20 and you'll see as years go on you start to care a little bit more about more and more things that you didn't care about and you start looking at things differently you start feeling different ways about things and you're able to learn a little different i was just recently talking about how i used to take advice when i was a little bit younger i'm 23 right now man and i used to take advice so much differently i wanted to say no i'm right and 
no, you don't know what you're talking about or the way I'm doing it is right as long as I keep doing it. Instead of stepping back and saying, yo, okay, what can I take from that? Even if I don't take the entire piece of advice, what can I take from that? Or what can I learn from that? And these are things that you just got to grow and you're going to learn as you go on through life. Some people might develop it a little bit earlier and some people might develop it a little bit later. But at the end of the day, that's why I say you got to be so excited about the journey of life and just continue to grow. It's hella exciting because you know it's always more to learn. And once you start realizing that, it helps your patience as you're growing and it helps your confidence in life and it just helps you get through your entire journey as you grow into a success. But hey man, I'm gonna go ahead and leave y'all on that note, man. Make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down below and also like the video. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and I'm out of here, man. Guess it's part of me that favor being late to get you mad till you drinking ace. And I don't want them in my business, I'ma set it straight. I don't feel a need to demonstrate with lovers like I got it going hella right. And if they ask you how I feel, smile and tell them that you know the deal. We gon' ride until the wheels fall off.